The order of an x-intercept is a very useful characteristic that can be used to help understand the graph of a given polynomial. This characteristic is easy to spot, but powerful when it comes to analyzing polynomials. The order of an x-intercept indicates the behavior of the function at the x-intercept in question. So let's dig into what this looks like. Now it's easiest to identify the x-intercepts of any given polynomial when that polynomial is in factored form. If we know the x-intercepts, it's easy to classify their order. Let's look at a first order x-intercept first. So here's an example of a factored quadratic with two x-intercepts, one at negative two and one at three. We can say both of these x-intercepts are of order one. The most obvious way you can tell is the imaginary one in the exponent on each component of the factored expression. Now, if I graph this function, you can see that the function passes through the x-axis once at each of these intercepts. That's a key characteristic of x-intercepts of order one. Remember, when we're talking about the order, we're talking about the behavior of the function at the x-intercepts. So at the x-intercepts, this function passes through the x-axis. Now, if I show you an example of a polynomial with an x-intercept of order two, you'll likely be able to spot the difference between it and the example of order one right away. Whoa! That's right. This exponent indicates that I have an x-intercept of order two at x equals three. You can think of this as two x-intercepts at three on top of each other. Graphically, this makes my function behave in such a way that the function simply touches the x-axis at the x-intercept instead of passing directly through the x-axis, as it did in the case of an order 1 x-intercept. So we say an order 2 x-intercept touches the x-axis at the x-intercept as opposed to passing through the x-axis. Now, if you've studied the vertex form of a quadratic before, you've probably seen x-intercepts of order 2. You learn that, for example, the parabola formed by this equation has its vertex at 2, 0 which is right here. Notice that the vertex is touching the x-axis at two, not passing through. Looking at order three, you can likely predict what you'll see when we look at an equation of a polynomial with an x-intercept of order three. Hmm, I'm sensing a pattern here. That's right. An exponent of three indicates an x-intercept of order three. Graphically, this looks like the function is just sitting on the x-axis. Connect this to what you know about cubics. They sort of twist in the middle where they cross the x-axis. So now you know how to use the order of an x-intercept to predict what the graph will look like at the x-intercept in question. Crosses, touches, sits on. If this video helped in any way, feel free to like and subscribe for more mathematical chaos. And as usual, thanks for watching.